This is How to Drink, the show about making cocktails and how to drink them. I'm Greg, and I have never been a professional bartender. I've never even had a job in a bar. I don't worry too much about precision and technique, because at the end of the day, if the drink you like is in the glass, you did it right. Let's get going. We're gonna make a Gordon's Cup, um, and so, what is a Gordon's Cup? A Gordon's Cup is an original cocktail. It's, you know, in a pantheon of drinks I call and others call new classics. It follows a lot of the flavor profiles and ratios of a classic cocktail, but it's a, it's a new invention. So we'll call it a new, a, a new classic, a neoclassic. Neoclassical cocktails, you know, French Empire cocktails. A brutalist cocktail, if you will. No, it's just, it's a new classic. It's a Sasha Petrovsky drink. Um, Sasha Petrovsky is a pretty well-known um, bar impresario who opened a very famous bar called Milk and Honey in New York City. Um, I have a very special connection to it because it was really my introduction to craft cocktails and uh, the elevation of the art form of cocktails. It was the weekend my wife and I got engaged um, and we were in the Lower East Side kind of hitting the spots and I said to her, um, you know, there's a place around here, I don't know if we'll be able to find it, called Milk and Honey that I've never been to, that I've always wanted to go to. Let's go see if we can just see where it is. I just think it'd be cool. I don't think we're gonna get in. And you walk past the door three times because there's nothing there to tell you that you're at Milk and Honey. There's like a little, um, those like gold letters you get for mailboxes, just M-H. And uh, you knock, they open the door, we tell them what's going on, we'd love to come in, they let us in. And it was fantastic. It was the best cocktail I'd ever had in my life. I was, I had a left-hand cocktail made by Sam Ross and, um, and it really did kind of, that night changed my perception of cocktails and what they should be and um, really kind of set me on the path. I was always making drinks, but really set me on a path towards uh, making craft cocktails and, and changing my attitudes about that. The Gordon's Cup is a, um, an original from the bar, uh, well known at the bar, and it's variation of Gordon's Breakfast, the sort of the breakfast variation on it. And I'm very excited to make it. Let's just get right into it and make this dang to drink. We're gonna need London dry gin, some kosher salt, some black pepper, some cucumbers. We're gonna need some Worcestershire. We're gonna need some Cholula hot sauce. We're gonna need some lime wedges. I'm gonna start by cutting a lime into eight wedges. We'll do that just by cutting it in half. And then one, two, and I need a cucumber. Here's my cucumber. I'm gonna need some slices of that. I don't need that part. It's pretty tasty though. That's more than enough cucumber wedges. Ah, nothing like a cucumber butt in the morning. I've got my lime wedges and my, uh, and I've got my um, cucumber wheels. I don't know why I can't think of the word cucumber today. Cucumber, 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 cucumber. I'm gonna shake this drink um, and I'm gonna shake it with all eight of my lime wedges and like three or four of my cucumber wedges and with three quarters of an ounce of simple. I'm using an equal parts simple here. And with two ounces of London Dry. There we go. In my shaker, I put my one big cube. Just a little tap a tap a tap a tap Okay, and my big ice cubes in there. I'm gonna pour this into a chilled double old fashioned glass. Now you have a couple of options here. You could open pour this and leave all the vegetation in there. It's a, it's a very valid choice. Uh, I'm gonna strain this one over a big rock. And now how do I garnish this drink? We are going to add a few more of these fellers in there kind of around the sides, like so. There we go. Now that looks like what we're looking for here. And a little sprinkle of uh, kosher salt and a little sprinkle of black pepper. And there it is, a, uh, a Gordon's Cup. Let's give this a try. Woo, God, I love that drink. Oh my God. That is crazy good. That is so good. It is just the right amount of sweet and um, gin and lime and cucumber and the salt and pepper, but we're not done yet. We're gonna do another version. I'm gonna make a Gordon's breakfast now. Same drink, just tweaked for a brunch cocktail. 
because foundationally, this is almost a brunch cocktail in a lot of ways. And uh, a bartender at Milk and Honey came up with the idea of turning it really into a full-blown brunch drink. So we're gonna do that right now. Okay, so I need six lime wedges. So this is, basically, it's the same foundation. And we're gonna need a bunch more of our cucumber. Cucumber, cucumber. Same idea, take my shaker. Okay, six lime wedges in there, three slices of cucumber, another three quarters of an ounce of simple. We're gonna put in two ounces of gin. Four dashes of Cholula hot sauce. Now, what's a dash? Um, that's a complicated question. For our purposes of today, I'm gonna call a dash a half a bar spoon, so we're gonna call that about two bar spoons. One, two thin bar spoons. And I need two dashes of Worcestershire. We're gonna call that one bar spoon of Worcestershire. We're gonna shake the hell out of this drink. All right, cocktail, you're being replaced by your better brother. Uh, same idea, we have one big cube we're gonna put over there. There we go, that's Gordon's breakfast in the cup. Uh, question, why is it called the Gordon? I don't know. Maybe it was meant to be made with Gordon's gin and I'm screwing it up. That might be true. It's possible. And get it all out. No matter how you shake and do your little dance, the last drop is always in your pants, right? Am I right? That's right, boys. I'm gonna put some more of my um, little cucumbers in there. We're gonna do a lime wedge on the side of the drink this time. Just so it's a little different looking. And once again, a little sprinkle of kosher salt, and a little sprinkle of black pepper. All right, let's have Gordon's breakfast! Oh my god, that is so good! Which one is my favorite? I think I like this one better. This is interesting. I'm not always a... F I don't normally like the spicy cocktails. When a cocktail has jalapeno or habanero in it, I usually stay away from that on the menu. It's not that I don't like spicy food. I don't like very hot food. I like buffalo wings. That's about my limit. Um, I'm not like into competitive hot sauce eating. But in this drink, in this particular case, I actually think that the hot sauce, the hot sauce in the Worcestershire, um, really add another dimension to it and bring out some more flavors uh, that aren't here. This is great, phenomenal, fantastic. This just has a little bit more going on in it. I just, I don't know. If it's, it's tough to pick, it's tough to pick. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm, let's find out. You get more cucumber on that. Yeah, no, you still get cucumber here. I like the hot sauce one. They're both great drinks. I recommend you try them out and let me know how you like them. We made a Gordon's Cup with two ounces of London Dry Gin, you know, beaten cucumbers and limes, some salt and pepper, some simple syrup. We made a Gordon's Breakfast with Cholula hot sauce and Worcestershire and salt and pepper and gin. Other thoughts on this drink? I, I, I prefer gin to vodka almost always, 99 times out of 100. The one place I don't think that gin works is in a Bloody Mary. And to me, this is kind of a gin answer to a Bloody Mary perfected. Like if, I, if it's breakfast, if it's brunch, and I want a brunch cocktail, um, but I want to go with gin and not vodka for some reason, I like this better than what happens when you just sub out a vodka for gin in a Bloody Mary. It's a fantastic drink. This is How to Drink, a show about making cocktails and how to drink them, and I am ho your host, Greg. Uh, if you like the show, I hope you'll subscribe. Uh, it really matters, it matters a lot, and it means a lot to me personally as a person who is your friend, who loves you. I Instagram at How to Drink. I tweeted How to Drink, and uh, oh, and if you like the stuff I use on the show, it's uh, a lot of it's for sale at thisishowtodrink.com slash gear, so you can check that out and buy from there. And when you do, I get a cut of it. And uh, I'm told that I'm doing this for money. So that matters. Now, it does help the show. It supports the show if you buy anything from there, so I appreciate it when you, and if you do. Uh, we have a Patreon now, and you can check that out up here. And, uh, cause I don't know the actual URL off the top of my head. 
and I appreciate uh, you hopping over there and checking that out. I'll see you guys next week with another cocktail on how to drink. And I'm gonna get my day fired up!